Here in this demo level, you can see a couple of point lights I have set up so you can see where the temperature volumes are that I've coded. When you step into these volumes, you can see a couple of injury icons start to spawn on the player. Now if I stay in here too long, it'll uh, eventually kill my character. You see all those little burn icons popping up. I set this one to a rate of 1, so it actually might take a while, but uh, at a rate of 3 it goes pretty quick. A lot of, a lot of burns on the character. They're all overlapping and very bright now. So right now I've been playing the demo with mouse and keyboard, but when I pick up the Razor Hydras, I have a new control scheme. This is kind of like Metroid Prime 3, where the center of the screen is a one-to-one -one mode, but when you move towards the borders of the screen, it's uh, it takes the remainder of the rotation input, then squares it, so you get an acceleration type effect where you can turn really quickly with large movements and have really good control with small movements. So, in my opinion, this actually exceeds a mouse for first-person shooters because you can still be very accurate, but you're faster than a mouse because you don't have to ratchet like you do with a mouse where you pick it up, move it over, and sit it back down because your desk isn't infinitely long. Um... I'm going to post, soon I'll post a few tutorials on, uh, I'll update my Razor Hydra input tutorial and then I might post a tutorial on an injury system where icons get attached to the player and uh, the temperature volumes and things like that. Um, these do actually uh, heal on their own and then uh, go away, but I don't know what time that's set for. I think it might be either two minutes or three minutes. I don't know. Eventually in my game I plan on having a uh, place that the player can go to to heal injuries instantly instead of waiting for, for them to heal on their own, but I have not uh, done that yet. Uh, one thing I need to change is right now the uh, cursor moves in a block and I need to change that to a uh, circle, because circles are nicer. Hmm. Got a lot of fire icons. I need, I need some uh, ice ones. If you, uh, if you'll hold still enough, you can see that it's a, uh, little silhouette of a person with a snowflake and then a uh, empty thermometer and then the burn ones are a person with a uh, flame icon and a full thermometer and then I have another uh, icon for a g-force damage system that I encoded that replaces the uh, standard fall damage and it's a uh, little like femur snapped in half I don't have anything to jump on this level but uh, I did code a test function let's see if I uh, there's not automatically an injury spawned it's uh, I think for the G-Force damage type, I put it at a 5 out of 100 chance. So I might not have any. Ah, oh, there's one on the uh, left hand.
I'm just using the uh, stock UDK character in animations, so the guy doesn't hold still. But uh, if you weren't moving so much, you could see that I actually have a uh, hexagonal texture in the icons and uh, scan lines going through them like they're holograms. And then the particle itself has a camera offset, so it'll move towards the camera and then can still render in front of the character mesh, even if you're on a different side of the character than the injury. And that's all I really have to show for now.